Hello my beautiful family, welcome back to our channel. Happy Sunday. This morning we're going to do just a classic, one of our Bible studies. I feel like it's been a while since we have just opened up the Bible and read it and talked about it, so I thought we could do that this morning. I'm about to head out on a little road trip, so I thought it would be good that I get this video in for you guys and make sure I'm not leaving you guys hanging this Sunday because I miss you and I've been slacking and I know this. But if you're new, hello, my name is Peyton. I'm so, so happy you're here. It's so great to meet you. And today we are going to read a little bit of Hebrews 11. But if you'd like to join the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell so you never miss an upload. So Hebrews 11 is really a, the best chapter. I don't know if I can say best chapter, but it really is an incredible chapter if you want to know like the definition of faith. What does it mean to have faith? What does it mean to trust Jesus and have faith in um, him and, and his timing and just trusting him and just all those questions? Hebrews 11 is a great one. So I thought we could go over a little bit of that today. And I'm just going to read the beginning of Hebrews 11. It says, Now faith is the reality of what is hoped for, the proof of what is not seen. For by, for by it our ancestors won God's approval. So right here, this is a definition of faith. Faith is the reality. So we know faith isn't fake. It's not something we made up. Faith is the reality. It's the proof of what is not seen. So we know because of faith, we didn't see it. So there's spiritual reasoning that maybe we don't see God, but because of faith, we believe in God. It says, by faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God, so that what is seen was made from things that are not visible. By faith, then, okay, this is a wonderful chapter because it basically summarizes so many incredible stories of the Bible, and it tells you, by faith, Abel did this. By faith, Enoch did this. By faith, Abraham. And it's such a beautiful way to see people in the Bible's faith displayed out like this. And I just want you to spend time in Hebrews 11 today. So I just want this video to be a little intro, a little um, a little bit of information before you can dive in yourself because it's such a great chapter. So faith is really the willingness to trust in and rely on and to cling to Jesus. So your faith in Jesus, your faith... You, you know what? You might run into some trouble. You might run into some people who don't believe in what you believe in, all of that. So your faith might not be as rewarding as you'd want or maybe rewarding at all on earth, but it is in eternity. You have eternal life with Jesus. What a beautiful, incredible gift. I just wanted to leave you with this little section in verse 6. Now, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Since the one who draws near to him must believe that he exists and he rewards those who seek him. So with faith, so without faith, it's impossible to please God. So God wants a relationship with you. He wants you to have faith in him. And so number one, believing he's, so you have faith. Number one, if you believe he exists and number two, if you seek him, you seek after him, you're looking for him. So real faith is action, living that out pursuing your relationship with Jesus, living out your faith, living out a life that reflects Jesus. And so I want to leave you with this and I want you to go spend time in chapter 11 and I want you to really just to reflect on what has your faith looked like. I also want you to reflect on when, when was the moment that you knew, yes, Jesus, that you said yes to Jesus that you had faith and believed and you were really like, wow, Jesus, you are so real. What is your faith moment? And what has your faith looked like lately? And then what do you want to improve in your faith? And I'm just going to pray you guys out real quick. Dear Jesus, I just want to pray over all my amazing friends watching this video. I just want to pray over their time with you, that you would be so present with them as they read Hebrews 11 today, that they would really just figure out what their faith can look like, how they can grow in their faith, areas maybe they can improve on and areas they can heal in. And I pray that they're inspired by these stories um, in the Bible that Hebrews 11 illustrates, dear God. And I just pray that you're with them and they just really feel your presence and know that they are just having an amazing morning with Jesus today, dear God. And we 
we pray this and we trust you with this and we surrender this to you in Jesus name. Amen. All right, go enjoy Hebrews 11. If you need, message me. Let me know how it goes. I love you guys. Leave a comment down below of your favorite verse from Hebrews 11 and I will see all of your beautiful faces probably Friday next week. Okay, bye.